My name is Jerry Hansen. I work at the Lowell Plains Museum as a historian. Uh, I'll be talking about the railroads today. And uh, I was born in 1938. And I got, uh, in my lifetime, I got to see pretty much everything on the railroad that were, was still there before they did any major changes. And uh, so I'll start talking about this uh, at the beginning of the railroad. And uh, in uh, 1867, um, the railroad had built up to Dale Creek uh, in the winter there, uh, September, I think it was. And uh, then they had to stop because of the building of the Dale Creek trestle. And, uh, that took quite a while to build, and uh, so, but in 1867, uh, they had people down here in Laramie, or before the town was here, uh, which was to become Laramie. Uh, they were down here on the Spring Creek, which at that time they called it Elizabeth Creek. And uh, they camped out along the creek there with their tents and everything. And uh, they started uh, grading uh, uh, through the town, uh, where the town was going to be, uh, for railroad shops and uh, and uh, powerhouse and uh, um, other buildings. And they were all made. All these buildings were made out of rock, and they hauled all the rock from uh, Lizer or Rock Creek. Wyoming uh, down here on wagons to build all this whole complex in the yards uh, and so that took them a long time to do that and uh, then the railroad finally got down here in 18 May of uh, May 4th of 1868 or May 3rd and uh, then they started putting the rails through the yards and the main line track uh, to be out, out, uh, out west, and um, then they built the uh, depot and, and station, uh, hotel, and, uh, and it was a all frame building, wood frame, and uh, and then all the other buildings were all wood frame, <coughs> and um, they. Uh, had uh, four tracks originally through town, and so it was kind of small. Uh, they did have a little yards. They had a 21 stall roundhouse, uh, and uh, and then they had a machine shop and powerhouse. Um, they uh, there was a terminal here. Uh, Eventually became the fifth and sixth division of the railroad, but originally it was the Laramie division, and that extended from Cheyenne to Rollins. And uh, uh, they uh, had a, put in a 60-foot turntable for the roundhouse to turn the locomotives, and uh, they burnt, burnt uh, wood at the time because they didn't. Uh, discover well, they discovered the coal, but it was on further west in Carbon and Warm Springs uh, and other places in Wyoming. And uh, uh, they, so, in a, um, a, uh, May 4th of uh, 1868, is the first train came through, and uh, then they started uh, building on westward, and uh, uh, there he was. Uh, end of track there for a little uh, short time and the first train the first passenger train came in on uh, May 10th of 1868 and uh, uh, it was quite a quite a uh, town they started selling lots in Laramie and uh, people started buying all these places and building houses and tents and um, 
they, they had a lot of frame houses, of course, and, and frame buildings, and then they had the trouble with fires. They build the put the stoves in the place in the structures and uh, put the stove pipe up through the ceilings, and but they didn't have enough room around the pipes, and they'd get hot and catch fire. So consequently, they had a lot of fires. Had a uh, did have a volunteer fire department, but, uh, which was they were fairly good, but uh, it just with horses and uh, to pull the fire wagons and hose carts, uh, they did use people to pull the hose carts too uh, to different fires, and uh, it was quite a feat to put a blaze out. And uh, then in eighteen seventy. Three, they decided they better put a, uh, they wanted a place for a, a rolling mill, and so they chose the army here for the rolling mill, and the rolling mill sat where Safeway Complex is today, and uh, then they dug a pipeline from the city springs down to the rolling mill, and uh, uh, water service in for the, all the boilers for this rolling mill, and uh, that was built in uh, um, 1875. And uh, April 5th of 1875, they rolled the first uh, uh, rails, and uh, so they became kind of the Pittsburgh of uh, Wyoming. And, uh, at that time, and uh, they did a fairly good job. And then they put a foundry in and made uh, castings for all sorts of things, doors, and, uh, everything you can think of, hinges for everything, and uh, different articles for building and everything. Uh, it was, uh, and then it became quite a town. And, uh, had uh, what they called uh, the, uh, the track itself was uh, they had stub switches at that time and uh, they were kind of awkward well they weren't awkward to use but uh, some of the points wouldn't uh, come in line with the other track and so they had a lot of derailments and things at first there and then they finally figured out a way to keep from doing that the stub track and then uh, eventually in later years they had the point system on the railroad track of the switches and, which is what they use today um, they used a uh, 60 pound rail uh, which was pretty light but uh, at that time they had little equipment and so uh, it held the trains pretty fairly good all the wheels and everything were all cast and uh, all the cars and everything were pretty much wood and metal um, molded together and uh, they were fairly strong and, but they did wear out fast so they didn't last too long but uh, uh, they just kept rebuilding and building new ones and things like that to replace all the ones that didn't make it. Uh, we had uh, uh, the Twin Ones uh, stall roundhouse for the locomotives and then they had a car shop and uh, they rebuilt uh, <laughs> repaired uh, passenger cars and freight cars in the shop and, uh, and uh, the roundhouse had uh, all the machinery for new flues for the locomotives and uh, the machine shop. And they made all the parts and everything they had for the, uh, all the equipment. And uh, then they uh, 
did a pretty good job. And, uh, so they lasted, uh, it lasted until uh, 1964. Or, uh, they used the original Grand Isles for other uh, storehouses uh, in later years after they built the new Grand House in 1912. And uh, it was a 27 stall. Around the house, and they uh, did all the repairs in the end and changed the original to a storehouse.